Hey Canucks fans, how concerned are you with this team right now? I'm Clay Emo, I'm at Canuck Clay on Twitter, I'm at Clayton Emo on Instagram, I'm the founder of the GLCBC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. This is my Canucks take, all in one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Friday, January the 22nd. This is where you get Canucks insight that's positive and timely. I'm not sure how positive this vlog is going to be. We are now 10% through the season already. Yes, we played six of the 56 games. The Canucks are sitting at two and four near the bottom of the North Division. And it's interesting that they've played six games in, um, I guess, eight nights, which is crazy when you think about it. Yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Yeah, they played six games in eight nights. So um, there's, there's bound to be some fatigue there. Uh, no excuse. Let, let's let's just start talking about things. Thanks to everyone uh, who joined me in my post game live stream last night. Huge, 160 people in there. Got some donations, which is always appreciated, but certainly not expected. And I was actually surprised that there are so many people in that post game live stream. I thought after a loss, it would be less people, um, but it was more people, uh, more donations. And I was joking around how maybe I should do 45 minutes for a win and 30 minutes for a loss, or. 60 minutes for a win or 45 minutes for a loss or even don't do live streams when we when we lose but I'm glad I went on there obviously there's a lot of uh, a fair deal of concern in there um, and a lot of um, you know a lot of questions about firing Travis Green or Jim Benning and I'll end off this vlog with that so let's talk about the on the ice first and let's let's do it in sections like I like to do it just helps break things down goaltending I'm not blaming last night on Thatcher Demko 42 shots against he let in I guess seven of them. Uh, I've said this about Hopi as well, and I'll say it about both goaltenders through six games. They're not the reason why we're two and four, but they haven't stolen a game for us yet. The two wins, it wasn't necessary because of their goaltending, and the four losses, um, obviously they're losses, so those weren't wins, and they weren't able to um, steal steal those wins for us. And it's not even about stealing wins, you guys. It's about uh, making the key save at the key time. And that was a hallmark of what Jacob Markstrom did last year. He bailed out what was a average to below average defense so many times. And Holtby and Demko haven't done that yet this season. Now, maybe they'll get a chance to do so um, going forward. But so far, they have not um, stolen games, nor have they even made the massive save, the game-saving save, the, the momentum swing save. They've made saves, and they've let a lot of goals in but I'm not blaming the start on the goaltending actually of the three areas of play that's probably my least area of concern we're getting they're getting average goaltending they're not getting above average goaltending but they're getting average goaltending defense where do we start okay they're already without Alex Edler Travis Hamnick then Jalen Chatfield gets injured in the first period so now you're playing a full game with Hughes Schmidt Myers Yolevi and Rafferty. Rafferty had a very tough, tough game last night in his, in his I think, third NHL game. You had Chatfield playing his second, you Levy playing his sixth or seventh. So that's not a lot of uh, experience on the blue line. I thought Yulevi was okay last night. It wasn't great, but he wasn't brutal. Um, I thought um, Rafferty had a tough game. You know what, brutal game? Tyler Myers. Sure, he had two assists, but he took three minor penalties, and then that, I don't know what he was thinking, that that high hit to Joel Armia. We'll find out today if Myers gets suspended. I, on my live stream, thought he'd get two games, but other people like Matt Scaris are saying he, he might not get any. So we'll see when that announcement happens. But uh, it was a rough night. And a couple things about the defense. Yes, they are young. You had Yulevi, Chatfield, and Rafferty starting that game. But it's some our veterans aren't playing well. I mean, it's crazy to call Quinn Hughes a veteran when he's only in his second year. But compared to those guys, he's a veteran. Nate Schmidt's a veteran. Tyler Myers is a veteran. So it's not like the veterans were playing well and the rookies were playing poorly. The whole D crew played poorly. And I get that it's intertwined. All all these veterans are 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 paired up with one of the rookies. But uh, Hughes, Myers, and and Schmidt did not look good last night either. So there's that. The other thing is, it's one thing to, if these young guys keep the puck out of their own end, uh, keep the puck out of their own net, we, they haven't done that yet, but if they help do that, that's one piece. But it's another piece to actually then be able to turn that around and help the forwards in transition and, and get the forwards going through the neutral zone with speed. And that obviously hasn't happened. So when, 
when you look at defensemen, you obviously look at defense. That's the that's in their name, defensemen. But you have to look at how they affect other areas of the game as well. And that's include transition to the forwards. Forwards, horrible. They didn't get an even strength shot in the second period. A lot of line did not look good. Horvat's line looked okay. Horvat was playing well. He's probably the only guy playing well in the first period. But then they swapped it where Horvat and Pedersen swapped places for a bit. They tried Jake in the top six, which isn't working. Uh, plays die on the stick. And, uh, you know, our bottom six was quite ineffective once again. So this forward group, it, by by any stretch of the imagination, is not strong right now either. Not playing with a lot of confidence. And it starts with their best player, is Elias Pedersen. You know, um, one point in six games. He He does not look right. He does not look confident. I've seen him flub simple plays. That horrible pass last night to led the goal led to the goal ahead goal uh, for Montreal. Uh, we need him to step up, and I'm not making excuses for him. I'm optimistic that he will turn things around, but uh, we're running out of time here already. Um, so it sounds you know it's not over dramatic. We're six games in. We're we're ten percent into a season. So uh, I want to give a formal a full evaluation of the Canucks after ten games, which means still one more game against Montreal and three more games against Ottawa. So remember, at the start of this road, uh, this homestand, I said the Canucks need to take four out of six. That will get them then to five and five on the season after 10 games, and then they'll be right in the mix. Well, they have a chance to do that. They got to, They won the first one against Montreal, thank goodness, but they got to take. They got to win Saturday, and then they'll be within one game of 500, and then they hopefully take two out of three from Ottawa. And remember, we'll kind of look at these games as series now take two out of three from montreal take two out of three from ottawa as opposed to getting too high with the wins i.e wednesday night and getting too low with the lows i.e last night but admittedly there's a lot to be concerned about last night power play um okay last night penalty kill pretty good eight for nine um only allowing one and but nine chances a lot but that speaks to a lot uh, poor discipline coming off a game where they only took one penalty so that's very inconsistent there and then lastly in my vlog last night people were talking about Firing Travis Green, which I, I don't think... Green, I feel bad for Green more than I'm blaming him. He, he, you can only coach the guys that you have. I think more of the blame goes to Jim Benning. Not addressing the defense well enough. Not addressing the fours. Maybe not doing... I, I still don't... I I wouldn't say it was a horrible offseason. In fact, I was very high on the acquisitions of Schmidt and Hamnick. And I was looking forward to what Hoglander could do. Uh, that wasn't an acquisition, but you know what I'm saying. Um, but uh, we, they got to make some changes, obviously, or at least something's got to happen. And it, whereas people in my live stream were talking more about firing Travis Green, which, again, I don't agree with. People on Twitter were talking about fire Benning, firing Jim Benning. And um, if I had to pick one, and I'm not advocating for this right now, but if I had to pick one, I think Jim Benning goes before... Travis Green goes, despite uh, Benning's really good um, relationship with Francesco Accolini. So let's keep an eye on that. I'm not going to go there yet. I want to see how the Canucks do tomorrow night. And if we can walk out of the weekend saying that the Canucks took two out of three from Montreal, you would have to consider that a success. So that's the optimistic, positive, positive take I'm taking right now. But we got a lot to learn before then. Sounds like Chatfield won't play. So does that mean Jordy Ben comes in for him? Perhaps. Then we find out if Tyler Myers will be suspended. And if not, then you're looking at uh, if Edler and Hamnick are still out. Um, then you'd be looking at Hughes, Myers, Schmidt, and Ben as your experienced um, you know, defenseman. And then you'd still play likely Yolevi, who, who made the team. And then one, uh, I guess one more guy. Is that Rafferty? Uh, we will see. So let's see what happens tomorrow night. But it's not looking good with Edler, Hamnick, and now Chatfield out. Three of our top eight defensemen. So uh, we're going nine deep now, and it's it, it may not be pretty. Canucks fans, how are you feeling today? Let me know in the comments. Be honest. Be uh, be completely honest. I uh, Don't sugarcoat it just for me. Just tell me how you're feeling right now. Put it in the comment section. I will read, react, reply, as always. Subscribe if you like to. Like this video if you like to. Stay safe, stay healthy. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Have a great day. God bless and go Canucks go.